The Worldwide Fund for Nature has just released the report, the 2015 report on the health of the planet. And there's one statistic that is very, very scary and should make all of humans ashamed of what we've done to this planet. More than half of the planet's ocean population has died since 1970, Margaret. We are talking about global warming, overfishing, ocean acidification as the reasons why half of the fish and mollusk population in the ocean has been eaten? eaten or destroyed in the last 40 years or plus. You know, that, that is a troubling statistic that's going on right now, and especially given the, the debate in this country over climate change and, and, and everything that's happening. My concern is, my friend, that uh, the rise of GMO production, especially GMO farm salmon, we're going to be seeing more and more of that uh, because of this crisis. That's very alarming to me. It's something that I cannot stand, and I'm hoping that um, that's not the case. But I think that we're going to see people profit off of this more so than ever. Um, I was reading this article about uh, this company. They were producing, they were cross-producing a tomato with the DNA of, of a salmon, trying to figure out the best way to genetically harness. And it was so disgusting and so despicable. Natural is always best. Unfortunately, it looks like we're either eating it or destroying it. And, you know, I hate to see what's coming next. I, I agree with you. The, the corporate greed is one of the big reasons. And, and the unsustainable farming and the unsustainable fishing of, an, of fish in the ocean has put us in this situation. We are talking about that now we are going to see real consequences for humans because, listen to this. Tuna and mackerel, two of the main fish of consumption in this planet, they have seen a decline in 75% of their stock in the ocean. It's, it's really, really bad. Now, one of the main problems is acidification. Back in the 80s, the scientists will think that the solution for the problem of global warming and CO2 emission is the fact that the ocean absorbs and dilutes the CO2. And they thought that, well, the ocean probably has unlimited capacity to dilute the CO2 of the of, uh, that we are producing as humans. Well, no, it is not illimited. Now we are reaching that limit and we see the coral. We have a picture of what a coral should look like, really shiny and bright of colors. And, and the ocean acidification creates what is called bleaching because the process impedes calcification. And corals, shellfish, they need calcification to live. So you see it like that, it's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. But then you see the picture of this diver that is in front of bleach dead nature. Oh, it's and that's the beginning of the food chain and it goes all the way up and on top of that is the burden of overfishing. Check this out. Only 4% of the whole ocean is actually regulated. The rest of it, it's free for people to overfish, you know, go fisheries in speeds boats, go fish indiscriminately and they just put back all the fish that they can profit from but they kill it anyway and we're creating this very unsustainable practice in the world. Well, what's the, what's the plan? What's the game plan for getting this back on track? So if we don't police the ocean, then this is going to happen. But at the same time, you know, what's the, do we have a solution or a workable solution? Yeah, definitely. First of all, we have to rely, stop relying on fossil fuels, cut down the emissions of CO2 to cut down on the acidification. Now we have to regulate corporate greed, governance compliance that allow fisheries to just be, be irresponsible in their methods only to profit more. But that needs to be regulated more. Also, harvest, other people will, and then we'll end up buying it from them. Exactly. And that, you, you touch on the last point that is very important, that is consumer knowledge. The fact that consumers, we need to be knowledgeable that we are buying fish that come from sustainable practices and not fish that is really cheap because it's fish in any, in, in, in any way possible that allows for bigger profits. So it's, it's very important to remember that, you know, we cover it here in the leap. The Earth is going into the sixth mass extinction of the planet we've seen animals, mammals, reptiles, all across the board, they're declining at a very, very fast pace. And still, there's people out there that deny climate change and the involvement of men in the decline of popula population in the animal world. Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the Lib TV.